Welcome back to the Weltklasse, presented by Visa. We are ready now for the men's 800 meters, the world record held by Sebastian Coe and shared by this man, Wilson Kipketer of Denmark at 141.73. It is a great field. Also out there, Vibjorn Rodal of Norway, the Olympic champion, Joseph Tengle, the 94 winner of this race, and Rich Kanaw of the United States, bronze medalist at the World Championship. Rich Kanaw from the United States is letting them go out to a very fast pace. Kanaw ran a personal best and took a third place at the World Championship in one minute 44 and 25 one hundredths of a second. They are tearing along up in the lead. They were looking for a 24-5 at 200 meters. They got that and then some. Number 29 is Tengle. The mistake made at the World Championships by Wilson Kipketer was he went by the 400 meters too fast. His first 200 was too fast. He's trying for 49.5 seconds here. Let's monitor it here. Bang, 48 seconds plus. Very, very fast. Will he be able to hold on is the big question. No one has ever gone out in a major invitational race and run the first 400 meters like Wilson Kipketer has just run this first 400. Unbeaten at the distance this year. Kip Kitter on the left, originally from Kenya, now a citizen of Denmark. Can he hold up? This is unbelievable. 114 flat for Wilson Kip Kitter. Will Sebastian Coe's world record fall, or will he tie up in the stretch? Oh, look at Kip Kitter move. That was Norberto Telez of Cuba trying to run with him, but he can't do it. No one can as Wilson Kipketer on the front straight with the crowd on its feet and roaring for another world record tonight. Keep your eye on the clock. Yes, 141.25 unofficially. He not only broke the world record, he shatters it by a half second. Look at the margin of the best 800 meters runners in the world that he has on the field with still a straightaway to go in an 800 meter race. This is an enormous margin for one man to be better than anybody else in the world. Sebastian Coe's world record had stood for so long since 1981. 16 years later, it is finally broken by a man who does supposedly prodigious training sessions and always keeps his form. What I should also add here, we first thought the time was 1 minute 41 and 25 one hundredths of a second. At the finish line, these meet directors put the, the Omega timer just slightly beyond the finish line to ensure that if it's ever rounded anywhere, it's rounded down and not up. Wilson gets another one hundredth of a second as a result of that. Final results, you mentioned it, Larry. It goes down to 141.24 and into the history books with another $50,000 bonus and another bar of gold to Wilson Kipketer of Denmark. Patrick Naduri of Kenya, second in a terrific 142.62. And Rich Kana moves to number four American all-time at 143.38. A spectacular run. Let's get down to Lewis Johnson. Well, after 16 years, the 800-meter world record now has a new home. Wilson, 53-2, the last 400 meters. What was it tonight? Was it the weather, the pacemaker, the crowd? What made the difference? No, I think it's not the pacemaker, it's not the crowd. I think it's a little bit of the crowd and the, the mentally I've been training, so now I've been concentrating too much to run here. But uh, after World Championship, I thought it was, it was not going to be possible, but uh, with the support of the crowd and the good weather, I think it's... Well, congratulations on a major, major historical event tonight. Congratulations, both Thanks, sir. We'll be back with more great track and field from Zurich, Switzerland, after this.